roast it. We're going to baste it with basil and some garlic and thyme and all those goodies. And then over here, I've got mushrooms that I've been roasting in the basil. And then we have potatoes that are crushed, some herbs, salt, pepper, and basil. All right. So, what kind of mushrooms? Wild. You guys tell me what are in here. Come on, wild mushrooms. Oh, come on, it's too easy. Okay, there are shiitakes. What else? Porcini. No, 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 no. Baby bellows. Oyster. Oyster. Yeah. Come on, what else? What are those? What are these guys? Black trumpets. Okay. So now you've been told. Now you know. There's going to be a test later. Um, I'm going to turn these down. All right. So, nice hot smoking pan. Okay. What I'm going to do is the other thing really important, right? We're throwing out like a little, like little hints and stuff. Um, steak, anytime you cook it, two things you want to do. One, let it come out to room temperature before you grill it off or sear it off. Because if you don't, the inside is going to be a lot colder than the outside, which means it won't cook even. You'll have like a bright red spot in the middle. Other thing, you want your steak, which again, everyone like step back and unlearn everything you've been shown and think about it with like new eye. What is a steak? It's just a big muscle, right? This piece right here. It's like right off of that. So you take that loin, you cut it up, and I've been given this giant muscle, right? You know what? It's like a strip. It's like a rose by any other name, right? Whether you call it a New York strip or a strip or this or a loin, whatever. It's a big giant piece of meat, muscle with some fat on it. So if it was like this, or if it's all different shaped or whatever, it's going to cook that way. So go. If you want it thin, you can stretch it out. If you want it like a giant fillet, go like that. Just make sure that they're nice and uniform. The other thing. Just because it says like sear on each side, don't just read a book and say sear on each side. Realize this huge fat cap that you hear, you know, that you see is not going to be really delicious if you just eat a big giant raw piece of fat. But if you render it down, it's just like bone marrow or anything else, right? Like beef fat is going to be amazingly flavorful. So, just a little bit of oil. This is going to get super like smoky and look like it's going to catch on fire, but I promise you, I promise you that it shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, so you got that. First things first, right? We're going to put that fat side down. I'm going to let the same energy they fall, they kind of fall on each other. Alright, lean on me style. Alright, mm. so we got that. Over here, we already got our mushrooms. No big deal. We got our potatoes. I'll throw in a little bit of chopped parsley, a little color, and kind of brighten it up. So you always want to kind of be multitasking. And the other thing is what we in the kitchen kind of say, uh, you want to work the pan. Meaning, again, it's all about the ingredient that's in the pan. You know what I mean? You don't want to just sit there and like do this. Like this pan is over the heat. So if it's, you kind of see what I did, right? If I leave it right there, it's just going to keep cooking and burning. So just like kick it over to the side. If you're cooking a sauce at home or in a restaurant and it's doing that, this part, because it's next to the fire, what's going to happen? Everything along this side of the pan is going to start burning, getting crispy, etc. So you come back and you just kind of twist it and turn it. So that's it. Like become one with the equipment that you're using. Same thing, pot, stir, stir, stir back over the heat. All right, so that's nice and rendered. We'll flip them over. You guys see that now? Right? Not only has it gotten crispy, and it's going to get flavor, but it's rendered all that fat, just like you would if you had a duck breast or anything else with that skin with that fat layer underneath it. So. Let it go, let it do its thing. What questions do we have? You can only talk about a steak sitting in a pan for so long, right? The good stuff's coming, but you got to like let it cook, leave it alone, don't stare at it, don't want to like go and flip it and play with it. So, what inspired you to become a chef? What inspired me to become a chef? My dad was in the Navy, so I got to travel all around the world and you know, kind of see everything. And I love that cuisine is like the looking glass into cultures, countries. Every single type of people do whatever they can with what they're given. So, you know, I, I say like if I give you a shallot and you're from the deep south of the States, if you're from China, if you're from the Philippines, Hawaii, whatever, everyone's still going to try to like roast, pickle, slice, char, use raw, mince, and make it delicious. And no one is any better than the other. So I think it's just like if you were into architecture or painting, uh, music, 
the more that you're exposed to it, the greater appreciation you have. So I always love food. Not just eating it, which I absolutely do adore, but, uh, but seeing how things are made and why they're made the way they are. So I think that that, when I started working in a restaurant, I also really enjoyed the, the pirate ship-like atmosphere that you have in a kitchen. So it's kind of like anything goes. I really enjoyed that. All right, so we've got our steak. We'll go with the full lipid. Now it's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to take our garlic. And what's really cool with garlic, right, is you have garlic that you usually peel and then put in the pan, and it always burns, at least it does on me. But, uh, so what's cool is this little trick where you take these cloves and not mix them up, but you want to get flavor. You take them, you kind of crush them a little like that, Right? And then you leave the paper on them. And that way, what you're going to do is, right now, push these to the back. I'm going to move this down, and I'm going to, ready? Okay? Look at that, ready? Whoa! Shouldn't have splashed, but you know what? I want to give you guys a show. I know what you're coming here for. All right, so you can see that this is now melting. I'm going to take this thyme and this garlic. And watch, it's going to start popping. You hear that? That's the thyme and the garlic infusing into the base cell. And what's so cool about the margarine is that it allows all of that flavor to get infused in there. There's no milk solids that are going to burn, and, you know, caramelize, where, you know, butter is amazing, right? You throw it in, it gets that nutty flavor, but if you're cooking it and you do it too long at this temp, it's going to start burning, which is fun that this has a higher smoke point. So now that it's infused, I can put it over the steak, and then take all this and kind of give it this base cell back, okay? So it's searing on the bottom from the pan, the cast iron, and then this hot liquidy magic is kind of cooking it from all sides. Yeah, because it'll never burn. Yeah. But it, it infuses all the flavor. You can keep basting this. If it's a big cut steak, right now you could probably throw it in the oven and let it keep cooking. So, but every time this hits it, it's just giving it flavor, it's caramelizing. And people, you don't want to be, you don't need to be afraid of that. this amount of fat because I always tell people, when you, when you show them how to cook like this, people are either like, oh my God, that's so gross, or they're like, oh my God, that's the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I just so said there's, that. there's no in between, you know what I mean? Like, so you don't have to like pour this in a glass and drink it, you know? You're literally, you're eating the steak that has just been cooked in this, right? No different than like frying or whatever else. So. With the margarine, you can poach, saute, sear, grill, whatever you want. It's extremely versatile. So, just basting away. If anyone wants to come around over here and like put your camera on slow mo and do that, I, it's very much worth it. I promise you. You will get a hundred new followers. Watch like this one. Ready? Who's got their video on? Ready? <laughs> Got that. I'm gonna take them out. Turn the heat off. 